This is the Polo Grounds on Sunday, October 7th. A desolate diamond drowned under torrential rains, and the prospects of another record-breaking attendance went down the drain. The next day, the sun smiles down from a cloudless sky. It's perfect baseball weather. Always on the alert is the excellent press corps, so vital to the color and scope of baseball, the cream of our country sports writers, who report the World Series story to millions of fans back home. The Giants' pitching chore will be in the hands of their tall right-hander, Sal Magley, who won 23 games during the season. Stengel will start with Allie Reynolds, who is making his second appearance on the mound for the Yanks. In the Giants' half of the first inning, there's one away. When Alvin Dark smashes a drive off the left field corner wall for a two-base hit. On the second out, Dark advances to third. Then Monty Irvin steps up to the plate and clouts a single for his eighth hit of the series. It scores Dark, and once again, the Giants take an early lead. Buckman is up. Irvin breaks for second. Rizzuto leaps to grab Bearer's throw, then comes down hard. Irvin's out as Rizzuto completes a dazzling defensive play to nip the giant rally and close the inning. Gene Woodling opens the top of the second frame with a little blooper that falls just inside the left field line. And it's a two-base hit for Woodling. McDougal follows with a slow roller to Bob Thompson who boots it. McDougal is safe on the error. Woodling holds second. Then Bobby Brown uncorks a mighty blast that sends Mays ranging far back to haul it in. He slips and falls hard when he tries to put on the brakes, and Woodling jogs easily to third after the catch. McDougal holds first. When Joe Collins lines a base hit into right field, Woodling tallies a tying run. It's one to one. There's no further score in the inning. With one away in the Yankee fourth, Bobby Brown wraps a ground at a deep short and beats it out for a base hit. Sal Magley runs out the string on Collins, then loses him, and Brown moves to second. There are two strikes on Allie Reynolds when he furthers his own cause with a single to center. It scores Brown. Reynolds is caught in a rundown between Dark and Lockman and is tagged out. The Yanks continue to lead two to one on the top of the fifth. Yogi Berra, the second man up, punches a base hit into right field. DiMaggio comes into the batter's box. Magley gets set. Joe connects with a solid blow and clouts a mighty two-run homer into the upper left field deck. It's his eighth round trip wallop in 10 World Series. Barra scores ahead of Joe, and the Yanks go out ahead four to one. It's their biggest inning in the series so far. Now it's the Giants' half of the sixth inning. Alvin Dark comes up again. He cuts the corner at third base with his third consecutive double of the game, all into the left field corner. This is Dark's seventh hit of the series, and for the second time in the game, he's left stranded on second base. The Yankees still hold their four to one lead in the top of the seventh. Sheldon Jones, who replaced Magley in the sixth, is on the mound for the Giants. Scooter Rizzuto leads off and bangs the first pitch for a base hit. After two outs, Woodling walks and Rizzuto moves to second. McDougal is up. Westrom throws to Stanky and traps Rizzuto way off second. Stanky's throw bounces off the scooter as he arrives at third, and he races home to score run number five for the Yankees. Woodling went to second on the error. Then Gil McDougal wraps the single to left. It drives Woodling home with another run that increases the Yankee lead it's six to one. That score still stands going into the last half of the ninth, which Hank Thompson opens with a walk. Then Monty Irvin connects with his ninth hit of the series. Thompson holds up at second. 
After one out, Bob Thompson drills a hit past McDougal into the left field corner. The score is Hank Thompson with run number two for the Giants. Irvin goes to third on the play. Then Willie Mays bangs into a double play for the third time in the game. This one erases the giant threat and ends the contest in a 6-2 triumph for the Yankees. Allie Reynolds went the distance to turn in a fine pitching performance. For the second time, the Yanks have fought from behind to tie up the series.